okay dear student the next continuation concept in a solution that is what and also it is a qualitative property next qualitative property is elevation of a boiling point elevation of a boiling point first before going to understanding this elevation of boiling point first we have to understand the boiling point that is bp what is mean by boiling point you see here dear student one thing i will tell you first this is what one solution that solution is there a yes, friend right. uh, what is boiling point any liquid boils at a temperature at which its vapor pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure for example this liquid is there it will be boil after heating some of the uh, this liquid will be boils and it gives its uh, vapors it gives to the water it's a vapor it gives to its a vapor whenever this vapor pressure this vapor pressure equal to this vapor pressure equal to atmospheric pressure then atmospheric pressure whenever this after heating this liquid the vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure then this temperature is called as the boiling point the temperature at which the pure liquid the vapors vapor pressure of that pure liquid is equal to or equilibrium with the atmospheric pressure then this temperature becomes the boiling point of that solution or that liquid very simple ga helthini nodli ond liquid irthada ee liquid heat maartivi heat madanane after heating heat madanane some vapors kodutu yavagi vapor pressure en vapor pressure irthadala ee vapor pressure atmospheric pressure ki equal ittandra ಅವಾಗ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಈ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಲ್ಲ ಆ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ಗೆ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಬಾಯ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಭಾಳ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಐತೆ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಇದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ವೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ದ ವೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸಾಲ್ವೆಂಟ್ ದ ವೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಾಲ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ನಾನ್ ವಲ್ಟೈಲ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ದ ಪೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಏನು ಸಾಲ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಇರ್ತೈತಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಯಾವಾಗ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗ್ತದಂದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಬರೇ ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದು ವಾಟರ್ ಐತಿ ವಾಟರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸಿಯಸ್ನೇ ಬಾಯ್ಲ್ ಆಕೈತಿ ಓಕೆ ಈಗ ನೀವು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಾರು ಒಂದು ಫೈವ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ರಿ ಶುಗರ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಬಾಯ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಹೋಗಿ ಕೇಸಿಂದ ಅದು ಒನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸಿಯಸ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ದ ಬಾಯ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಆನ್ ಆ್ಯಾಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸಾಲ್ವೆಂಟ್ okay this is what vapor pressure and boiling point concept therefore next one uh, they, from this we conclude that the vapor pressure is inversely proportional to boiling point the vapor pressure is inversely proportional to boiling point dear student therefore this implies that this very simplest after this conclusion conclusion we implies this implies that it's very important point this implies that the boiling point of a solution the boiling point of a solution the boiling point of a solution is always is always higher than that of higher than that of higher than that of pure solvent it's very simple nodri therefore ಈ ಒಂದು ಏನು ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇರ್ತದಲ್ಲ ಆ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ದು ಆ ವೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಬಾಯ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಸಾಲ್ವೆಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವೆಲ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೆರೈವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಬಾಯ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಡ್ರಾ ಒನ್ ಗ್ರಾಪ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಹಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಪ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ you see here dear student this graph vapor pressure versus temperature graph this curve 
this curve this curve is there this is for a solvent this is for what a solvent and this curve is for solution this curve is for the solution here what happened dear student very simple for one atmospheric pressure this is at one atmospheric pressure one atmospheric pressure the vapor pressure of this pure solvent you see first observe the temperature will be very less you go for like this the temperature will be very less after adding some solute the solution temperature to the solvent nodri solute solvent add madanane solution temperature enaitu h aitu nodri therefore this is what temperature increases nodri initially 10 itta athwa 100 itta nodri 110 agirthadala therefore initial this uh, this is tb not therefore the boiling point of the pure solvent and this tb for this one okay this is what for solution temperature okay we will go for that what is mean by tb not and tb tb not means the boiling point of pure solvent the boiling point of the pure solvent dear student next one what is mean by tb tb means the boiling point of solution okay then after that change in the boiling point we have to understand change in the boiling point what is the change in the boiling point the change in the boiling point dear student delta tb therefore tb minus tb not highest minus lowest this is highest right minus lowest this is highest minus lowest and this is known as you see here this is known as elevation of a boiling point this is known as elevation of a boiling point very simple right then go for the one of the next concept the elevation of a boiling point elevation of a boiling point that is delta tb is directly proportional to molecular mass then proportionality constant we are removing delta tb is equal to kb into m very interesting it is then after that where m is a molarity or molecular mass what is mean by kb that kb where where kb where kb means very important molar elevation constant molar elevation constant or it may be ebullioscopic constant or one more name it is ebullioscopy ebullioscopy constant dear yes, student okay then define what is mean by ebullioscopic constant they are asking in exams i will define that okay dear student what is mean by ebullioscopic constant the ebullioscopic constant kb is they are asking it's very important in your examination they are asking also the kb ebullioscopic constant it is depend as the elevation of a boiling point produced when one mole of a solute is dissolved in 1 kg of a solvent very <coughs> simple adala nodri 1 mole 1 mole of a solute na 1 kg solvent that dissolve madide andre a boiling point in bartadala adakke enu kertene ebullioscopic constant it is depend as the elevation of boiling point produced when 1 mole of a solute dissolved in the 1 kg of a solute one nodri one one 1 mole of a solute idu ee solute na 1 kg of solvent that now dissolve madide andre elevation boiling point est elevate aagtadala adakke nanu kertene ebullioscopic constant <coughs> okay what is the unit the kelvin kg per mole they are asking sometimes unit also dear student kelvin kg per mole then after that the molecular mass here this molecular mass m m equal to w2 divided by m2 divided by w1 into 100 this after that this is w2 this 100 going down outside in this upper side and this come w2 into 100 divided by w1 into m2 what is mean by this you see here w2 gram of a solute molar mass of m2 in w1 gram of a solvent this is the meaning of this one w2 gram this is what w2 gram of a solute in a molar mass m2 in a w1 gram of a solvent then 
we from this we know that notally idrinda namage enu gothaitu we know that delta tb equal to kb into m then after that kb value then we know that m m gothait namage therefore kb into w2 into 100 divided by w1 into m2 therefore ig namage delta tb be ಹೌದಲ್ಲ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನೈತಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ದ ಎಲಿವೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಬಾಯ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಓಕೆ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಬ್ಲೋಸ್ಕೋಪಿ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಟೋಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಎಮ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಟು ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಮ್ ಟು ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಡಿ ಎಸ್ ಟೋಡ್ ಎಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಂಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಂಟು ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯು ಟು ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೊಲಾರ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಮ್ ಟು ಇನ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಒನ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸಾಲ್ವೆಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ದಿಸ್ ಎಮ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಡೆಲ್ಟಾ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಕೆ ಬಿ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎಮ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಒನ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಬ್ಲೋಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೆ ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಎಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಗ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ಕೆ ಬಿ ಡಿಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಎಮ್ ಟು ಇಂಟು ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಎಮ್ ಟು ಡಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ elevation of a boiling point dear student from this uh, we discuss the uh, elevation of a boiling point also okay uh, i will solve first all the qualitative property and after that at the end of all this i will discuss the numerical problem dear student if you have any doubts please comment okay thank you for watching this video